Welcome to Rika Subtest 1 Online Test Preparation Course presented by RikaTest.com. In this next section, you will learn about the sequence of teaching phonics and sight words. Letter to sound correspondences need to be taught beginning with consonant sounds, which are the most simple linguistic units, to move to next irregular sounds, which are more complex linguistic units. To begin, Remember that students start by sounding out one letter at a time. Eventually, they move to recognizing words, and then sentences, and then whole passages. Consonants are speech sounds that happen when the airflow is obstructed in some way by using our mouth, our teeth, or our lips. The letters they produce are all of the letters that are not vowels. Continuous sounds are sounds that can be pronounced for several seconds without being distorted. Stop sounds are consonant sounds that are formed by completely stopping airflow. Consonant digraphs are two-letter combinations that have one sound, such as in the pH in phone. A blend is two letters that are sounded out together, but you can hear both letters. The word blend has two blends in it, bl, bl, and nd, nd. Vowels are sounds made when the air that leaves your lungs makes a vibration in your voice box. Then there is a clear passage from the voice box to your mouth. In English, vowels include a, e, i, o, u, and sometimes y, and also w, such as in sky for y or cow for w. A long vowel is when the vowel says its own name. A short vowel happens when the sound does not make its own name, such as in bat. Vowel digraphs are two vowel combinations that create one sound, such as in the OA combination in boat. Diphthongs are the glided sounds made by vowel combinations, such as the OI in oil or the OU in about. R controlled vowels are sounds that are neither long nor short, such as in the word car and are controlled by the R. L controlled vowels are vowel sounds that are neither long nor short and the vowel precedes a consonant, such as the I in milk. Next in the sequence of teaching phonics is common inflected morphological units, which include prefixes like inter, micro, bi, anti, and many more. Suffixes such as ist, ment, able, ness, and also many more. And words without affixes that do not change from their root word, such as in bacon, giraffe, unscathed, as well as others. Teachers teach common word patterns using this graph. And we move from left, which is the utmost simple, to the right, which becomes more complex. Keep in mind that in the pattern row includes V, and the V stands for vowel, whereas C stands for consonant. Take a moment here to examine and take note of this table. Moving on to the next sequence of teaching phonics and sight words, we have why some words are phonetically irregular and some are never decodable. The English language has phonetically irregular words, which do not follow the general rules that work for most of the time. Common examples include of, the, and was. The English language is unique in that the rules of language are often broken, meaning there are plenty of exceptions to our language rules. For this reason, we teach sight words, which are the words that students are taught to memorize as whole units. The majority of these irregular words are placed in a category called function words because by themselves they don't carry meaning. Examples include the, of, and was, but there are many others too. Believe it or not, we actually teach some words that are decodable as sight words. Yes, it's true. Can you guess why? Well, there are two reasons, and they are, number one, words that kids see a lot. These are high-frequency words, so kids need to learn how to read them early on. 
And number two, a part of the word, such as the phonetic pattern, will not be taught until much later. An example of this could be the word park, where the R-controlled vowel pattern won't be taught until first grade or even second grade, but the child will oftentimes want to use this word. Feeling nervous about taking your RECA test? Click the link in the description below, get full access to this RECA test prep course, and start feeling prepared for test day.